everyone, it's Kelly here from Crafting a Cuppa and today we're going to do the tutorial for the Free Spirit Peaked Cap. I'm so excited to finally get this one out to you all. This hat just brings such nostalgia to me. It reminds me of being a little girl, going to bike rallies with my mum and dad um, for the weekend and I used to love going around all the stalls and finding hidden gems like this. Things that you just can't find on the high street. Mine was a fabric one, but it was the same shape, like the Baker Boy style. So, yes. Right, what you're going to need is some Aran or worsted weight yarn. I'm using scraps. It's a good little stash buster, this is. Uh, I'm using a 6mm hook, but you can use whatever you need to obtain the gauge. The gauge is going to be working to round Four, and then we're going to measure our hat to check that we are on track. Um, if you're going to be doing this peaked cap, because this bit here is optional, you don't have to have that bit on there. But if you are, you're going to need some stitch markers, um, you're going to need some scissors, obviously. I want a tapestry needle, which I didn't get out because I always forget something, but never mind. Okay. Should we just dive straight in? Okay, so I have lit I'm literally just grabbing random um, scraps of yarn from my stash box of Aran worsted weight. So we are literally going to start by making a slip knot and attaching that to our hook. Now you need to chain five. And then come back to your very first chain and we're gonna put a slip stitch through there to make a circle. Like so. And now we're going to work into the centre of your circle. So you just need to pull it out and then you'll be working into that little circle in the middle. So what we're going to do now is we're going to chain three. And then we're going to put two double crochets back into the circle. We're working in US terms. So two double crochets. Oh, hang on, I've not gone in there. Your chain three is going to class as your first double. And we're going to put two double crochets back into that centre. So we have three double crochets, although obviously your chain three is your first double. And then we are going to chain two. And then we're going to put three double crochets back into this loop. Then we're going to chain two and then we're going to put three doubles back into the loop. We're going to keep doing this until we have five sets of three double crochets. So at the minute, you should have one, two, three sets. So we need to do it two more times. Chain two, three doubles back into that circle. Chain two, three more doubles back into the circle. Chain two. Now just double check that you have got five sets of three double crochets. So one, two, three, four, five. And each of these should have a chain two in between them. So I've done my last chain two and I'm now going to join it to the top of 
the chain three from the beginning of the round with a slip stitch. Now we're going to be fastening off every round for a little while because we're doing like a Mandela type pattern. Okay, so fasten off. Put a little knot in there to secure it. And that's round one. Okay, round two, I'm changing colour. So let's put another slip stitch, a slip stitch, another slip knot and attach it to your hook. We're going to be working on the right side throughout. So what we're going to do is we're going to join our yarn in any of these chain spaces, any corner chain space. So we're going to join it with a slip stitch with your stitches right side facing. Slip stitch. And then we're going to chain three, which is going to be your first double crochet. Put two more doubles back into this chain space. Now we're going to skip the next three double crochets. And then we're going to put three doubles into this corner chain space here. So put three double crochets. and then chain two and then put three more doubles back into this same corner chain space. And then we're going to repeat that again. Skip the next three double crochets and come to your next corner. Place three double crochets in that corner. chain two, three double crochets back into this same corner, and then again skip three double crochets and come to your next corner and place three double crochets in that corner chain space. chain two, three double crochets back into this corner chain space, where are we, Ooh. right skip your next three doubles again and come to your next corner, three double crochets chain two, three double crochets back in the same corner, skip the next three doubles and then you come to the last corner which has already got three doubles in it although the first one was your chain three. So you're going to place three double crochets into this corner chain space chain two and then join it to the top of the chain three with a slip stitch and that's round two we're now going to fasten this one off you should have a pentagon style shape at the moment with five corners now normally I would say weave your ends in, I'm just going to pull this centre tight actually while we're here, normally I would say weave your ends in as you go, which I will be doing but not just yet, I want to get to round four first so I can measure the diameter of my hat and just to make sure that we are on track for the right measurement. So don't weave any ends in just yet, just in case you have to go back again and change your hook size. OK, 
Okay, round three, this is. Do another slip knot. Put it over your hook. Again, we're still working on the right side. So you get to pick any corner chain space again. So I'm just going any corner chain space and join with a slip stitch. Doesn't matter which one. Chain three. And then place two double crochets back into that same corner chain space. Then you're going to skip three double crochets and come into this gap in between your three doubles. So in this gap, we're going to place three double crochets. Chain one and then put three double crochets back into that same gap. And then we're going to go and skip the next three doubles and come to the corner. And then we're going to do the same thing. So we're going to put three double crochets in this corner chain space. Chain one. And then put three doubles back into this corner chain space. And then repeat that again. Skip three doubles and go into the center gap with three double crochets. Chain one and then put three doubles back into the same gap. And just keep repeating this all the way around. Skip three double crochets, which takes us to a corner chain space. Do the same thing again. Three double crochets. Chain one. Three doubles back into the same gap. Do it one more time because we're literally just repeating all the way around in every gap and every chain space. Skip three double crochets. Now we're coming to the gap. So we're going to put three double crochets. Chain one, three double crochets back into that same gap. Keep doing that in every chain space and every gap. 3DC, chain one, 3DC. And I'll meet you back here when you're in the final gap before the final corner. Okay? Okay, so I have just placed in my last gap three double crochets, chain one, three double crochets. And then that leaves me with the last chain space, which has already got three double crochets in it. Obviously, the first one being a chain three from the beginning. So I'm going to go ahead and place three double crochets back into this same gap. The final, what well, says gap, final chain space. Three double crochets. chain one and then join it to the top of the chain three from the beginning of the round with a slip stitch. Fasten off. Where's my scissors? Over here. And that is round three. Looking a bit crazy but there we go. That's round three. Okay, next is round four. 
So let me get my yarn and attach it to my hook with a slip knot. So now we're still working again on the right side. We are going to attach our yarn in any of the corner chain spaces. So obviously you've got, we did 3DC, chain one, 3DC. So that's a corner chain space. This bit here is like a gap. I call that the gap. There's no chain space in between there, but you can clearly see there is a space, but that's just a gap, okay? You're not going in there. That bit's quite flat looking if you hold it out. It's quite flat looking. Your corner chain spaces have got a peak. If you can see that. So you're going to attach your yarn in any of these little peaks in the corner chain space, okay? Not in the gaps, but a corner chain space. So we're going to attach our yarn with a slip stitch in a corner chain space. Chain three, which is going to be classed as our first double. We're now going to put six double crochets back into this corner chain space. So six double crochets. So if you include your chain three, you should have seven double crochets. Obviously your chain three is your first double. So there should be a grand total of seven stitches in this chain space. Then you're going to skip three double crochets and in this gap, you're going to place a single crochet. Then you're going to skip the next three doubles and you're going to come back to one of the corner chain spaces. You're going to put seven double crochets in this corner chain space. I've lost count, so I've just got to go back and double check that I've definitely got seven. Yep, yeah, got seven. Then you're going to skip your next three double crochets and come back to your gap and place a single crochet in there. Skip three double crochets and come back to a corner chain space. And you're going to put seven double crochets. Oh gosh, I'm losing mine. I'm trying to work around this little end I've got sticking out here. And then just keep repeating the same thing. Skip three doubles, in the next gap place a single crochet. Skip three doubles in the next chain space, chain space, chain space, put seven double crochets. It's always seven doubles, one single. Skip three doubles, single crochet in the next gap. I'll do it one more time. Skip three doubles, next corner chain space, put seven double crochets. Oh, that didn't go right. Now I've lost count on mine, as always. Got one more. And then skip three double crochets and put a single crochet in the gap. 
So keep doing the same thing all the way around. Seven double crochets in a corner chain space, single crochet in the gap. Seven double crochets, corner chain space, single crochet in the gap. Keep going all the way around and I'll meet you back here when we get near the end. Okay, so I have just one gap left, which I'm going to put a single crochet in. And then I'm going to skip my last three double crochets and I'm going to join my yarn to the top of the chain three from the beginning of the round with a slip stitch. Now before I fasten this round off, I'm just going to smooth it out the best that I can. Now we're going to take your tape measure and just measure across one side. It needs to be roughly close to 15 centimetres. It's always a bit nerve wracking because I don't want to start again. But this is the gauge. We've got to make sure it's right because you don't want to make a hat that's too small or too big. So let's give it a whirl and see where we are at. <gasps> oh, yes. I'm just a totty bit over 15. I'm about 15 and a half, but I'm happy with that. I'm very happy with that. Lovely. So now I'm going to fasten off. I'm going to start weaving my ends in as well. Now I know that my gauge is all good. So I'll meet you back here for round five. Right, so we're now on to round five. I've weaved my ends in because I'm just a bit weird like that. I can't deal with having loads of ends to deal with at the end. So I weave them in as I go now. Right, round five. Let's just get my yarn. Not prepared, look. Right, what we're going to do now is we're going to attach our yarn in any of the single crochets. Any one, it doesn't matter. So go in any single crochet with a slip stitch. Remember that we're still working on the right side. So any of the single crochets with a slip stitch. And then you're going to chain three for your first double. And then we're going to put two doubles back into that single crochet. Right, next you're going to skip two stitches. One, two, and then you're going to place a single crochet in the next three stitches. Okay, so that's skip two, one, two, and then a single crochet in the next three. And then we're going to skip two stitches again. One, two, which brings us back to the single crochet. And we're going to put three double crochets in the single crochet. Did I say single crochet? I think I did three double crochets in that single crochet. So skip two stitches, one, two, and three doubles in that single crochet. Repeat the same thing, skip the next two stitches, one, two, and then put a single crochet in the next three stitches. Skip two stitches and then place three double crochets in the single crochet. Let's go again. Skip the next two stitches. One, two. And place three single crochets in the next three stitches. Skip two stitches and place three double crochets in the next stitch, which will be the single crochet from the previous round. I 
We'll do it one more time. Skip the next two stitches and place three single crochets in the next three stitches. Skip two stitches and place three double crochets in the next stitch. Just going to keep repeating that all the way around until you get to here and I'll join you back here again. Okay, so I'm near the end of my round. I've got one shell left. So I'm going to skip two stitches and then place three single crochets in three stitches. Skip the last two and then join to the top of the chain three from the beginning of the round with a slip stitch. and fasten off. And that's round five. Okay, now round six. Let me get my yarn. We're still working on the right side. So we are going to attach your yarn in any of the first single crochets. Now what I mean by that is the first single crochet after your set of three double crochets. So any of the first single crochets after your three doubles. So I'm just going to go in this one because it's closest to me. So I'm going to attach my yarn in the first single crochet with a slip stitch. Next you're going to chain two which classes as a half double crochet. The next stitch you're going to put two half double crochets in the very next stitch. And then we're going to put a half double crochet in the next two stitches. So one half double crochet in the next stitch, one half double crochet in the stitch after that. Next, we're going to do a front post double crochet around this center DC bar, your double crochet bar, we can line that up very well. I think that's about there, isn't it? The center one. So basically we're in this first stitch here in this DC, this double crochet. We're going to put a front post double crochet around this middle one right here around the next stitch. So I'm going to yarn over. I'm going to insert my hook to the right of this double crochet bar in the middle. I'm going to go straight through there and I'm going to come back out through the other side like so, and I'm going to yarn over and do my double crochet. And that is a front post double crochet around that center double crochet from the previous row. Probably sounds so confusing, but we'll keep going, okay? We'll keep going around. Once you get the hang of it, you'll be like, oh yeah, 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 I know what I'm doing. We're only working in such small sections so it's just remembering that little stitch pattern for each section. Right, so what we're going to do now is we're going to place a half double crochet in the next two stitches. One half double crochet in the next two stitches. One. And one in there. Now we're going to place two half double crochets in the next stitch. So two go in this stitch here. Now we're going to place a half double crochet in the next two stitches. So what we've done is half double crochet in two stitches, two half double crochets in one stitch, 
half double crochet in two stitches. Like so. And then we come back to our front post double crochet around this center double crochet from the previous round. Okay. So again, we are going to go to the, the right, they said left, to the right of this double crochet bar from the previous round. And we're going to go straight down and come out from the other side. So that, that double crochet bar is pushing forwards and our hook is directly behind it. And then we're just going to do our normal regular double crochet. And that's your front post double crochet. And that is the stitch pattern. So let's go again. Half double crochet, one half double crochet in the next two stitches. One half double crochet in there, one half double crochet in the next stitch. The next stitch, you're going to put two half double crochets in this stitch. One and another one. Then we're going to put a half double crochet in the next two stitches. So one half double crochet in there, one half double crochet in the next stitch. And then we're going to do a front post double crochet around this middle double crochet bar from the previous round. Go in behind and come out the other side and do a double crochet. There we go. Let's go again. One half double crochet in the next two stitches. Two half double crochets in the next stitch. One, going back in that very same stitch and placing a second one. One half double crochet in the next two stitches. One in the first one, one in the second one. Front post double crochet around this middle DC bar or double crochet bar from the previous round. Let's go again. Half double crochet in the next two stitches. One, two, Two half double crochets in the next stitch. Oh, didn't yarn over. Half double crochet in the next two stitches. Front post double crochet around the next stitch, which is the center. D double crochet, I keep saying DC bar, but you know what I mean, double crochet bar from the previous round. Do a front post, double crochet around that. And just again, should I go again with you? One half double crochet in the next two stitches. Two half double crochets in the next stitch. One half double crochet in the next two stitches. One front post double crochet around the next stitch. I'll do it one more time and then I'll meet you back. We ain't got that much to go to be fair, but I'll do it one more time. One half double crochet in the next two stitches. Two half double crochets in the next stitch. One half double crochet in the next two stitches. Front post double crochet around the next stitch. So just keep repeating that same stitch pattern all the way around and I'll meet you back here when we get near the end. Ok 
Okay, I'm right near the end. I've just got to do a front post double crochet around this stitch here. And then place one more half double crochet in the last stitch. And then we're gonna join to the top of the chain two with a slip stitch. And fasten off. Where's my scissors? I've lost my scissors in my little bag. Right, where are we? Fasten off. And that is round six. Okay, it's now time for round seven. Now you're going to attach your yarn on the right side again in the top stitch of any of the front post double crochets. Doesn't matter which one, just go in whichever one you prefer. I'm gonna go in here, doesn't matter, and we're gonna do a slip stitch in the top of that stitch. We're not gonna go around it like we did before, we're just gonna go in the top with a slip stitch. Then we're going to chain three and place two more double crochets in this very same stitch. Then in the next two stitches, we're gonna place one half double crochet. So one half double crochet in the next two stitches. And then we're gonna do one single crochet in the next two stitches. and then one half double crochet in the next two stitches. And that brings us back to the front post double crochet of the next section. And we're gonna put three double crochets in that stitch. And that's that little section. So we're going to repeat that over and over. So one half double crochet in the next two stitches. One single crochet in the next two stitches. one half double crochet in the next two stitches. Oh, where are we? I'm gonna need a bit more yarn. And that brings us back to the front post double crochet. So we're gonna put three double crochets in that stitch. Let's go again. One half double crochet in the, no, 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 sorry. One half double crochet in the next two stitches. One half double crochet. See, I thought it was a Miss Smarty Pants then, but obviously, no, I wasn't. <laughs> Never mind, we all make mistakes. At least I, I heard myself do it this time. Right, where are we? One single crochet in the next two stitches. One half double crochet in the next two stitches. And you should be back at your front post double crochet again. And you're gonna put three double crochets in that stitch. All right, let's go again. One half double crochet in the next two stitches. Oh. One single crochet in the next two stitches. One half double crochet in the next two stitches. and three double crochets in the top 
of the front post double crochet from the previous round. I'll do it one more time with you. One half double crochet in the next two stitches. One single crochet in the next two stitches. One single crochet in one half double crochet in the next two stitches. Sorry, everybody. Half doubles. And then three double crochets in the next stitch. I'm just going to keep repeating that same stitch pattern all the way around. So remember, it's two half double crochets, two single crochets, two half double crochets, three double crochets. Just take one little section at a time and I'll meet you back here when we get near the end. Okay, I've just got one little section remaining. I've done my three double crochets and I've now got one little bit left to do. So that is one half double crochet in the next two stitches. One single crochet in the next two stitches. And then you end the round with one half double crochet in the last two stitches. And then you join with a slip stitch to the top of the chain three from the beginning of the round. And again, we're going to fasten off. Sorry about all the ends, everybody, but it will be totally worth it. Okay? I promise. <laughs> weave as you go. Weave as you go. Yes. See, I've been doing it. I've only got, literally I'm turning around and I'm weaving in my last two ends from the previous round. You don't even notice, it starts to become a habit. Okay, we're now on round eight. Again, working on the right side, you're going to attach your yarn in any second double crochet. Now what I mean by that is we have our three double crochets coming around here, which are making these peaks. Each little bit has got three double crochets in. You're gonna attach your yarn in the middle double crochet, which is the second double crochet. Any one, but it's gotta be the second double crochet. So I'm just gonna go for this one. So there's my three doubles right there, and I'm gonna go in the second one with a slip stitch. Where's my working end? I'm getting all hooked up. Okay, so yeah, join it in with a slip stitch. Chain three, which is your first double crochet. And we're gonna put two double crochets back into the same stitch. And then we're going to skip two stitches, one, two and then we're going to put three double crochets in the next stitch which is going to be the third stitch skip two stitches three double crochets in the next stitch skip two stitches three double crochets in the next stitch and that is all this round consists of oh. Have I gone in the bit? Yeah, no. Hang on, I've not gone in the right bit there. I have gone in the right stitch, but I've not gone through the top bars. We are, we are, let's go again. Skip two stitches, three double crochets, that's better. Three double crochets in the next stitch. Let's get a bit more yarn. So just skip two stitches. Three double crochets in the next stitch. Skip two stitches, three doubles in the next stitch.
skip two stitches, three doubles in the next stitch. Skip two stitches, three doubles in the next stitch. Nice and easy this one. So just keep repeating that all the way around. Skip two stitches, three doubles in the next stitch. Skip two stitches, three doubles in the next stitch. And I'll meet you when we get back to the end, uh, end slash beginning of the round. Right, I've just got my last little section to go. I've got to skip two stitches and put my last three double crochets in this stitch here. And then all that's left to do is skip two stitches and join your yarn. Oh, hang on, what have I done there? That pulled it through all the way. Join to the top of the chain three with a slip stitch. And then you got it. Fasten off. Another end for you to weave in. I'm so evil. I know I'm so evil. <laughs> But it's worth it. Remember that, it's worth it. There we go. And that is round eight. Right, we're now on to round nine. So what we're going to do is we're going to attach our yarn in any of the first double crochets. So that will be that one, or that one, or that one. You've got your sets of three doubles. You're gonna go in any of the first double crochets. Now this time, rather than joining in with a slip stitch and chaining one for a single crochet, we're gonna just join straight in with a single crochet. If you're like, how do you do that? I'm gonna show you, it's very, very easy. So get your yarn and your hook. We're going to insert the hook into one of the first double crochets. Get your yarn. And then rather than doing a slip stitch, we're literally just going to do a single crochet. So yarn over, pull through, and you should have two loops on your hook. Yarn over and pull through both loops. And you just joined in with a single crochet. Nice and easy. So, Next, we're going to do two single crochets. So basically one single crochet in the next two stitches. Now we're going to do a front post treble crochet. Not the double crochet, it's going to be a treble crochet. And we're gonna go down to round seven. So this pink here is my round eight. This, uh, like, I don't even know what kind of colour you'd call it, really. Like a dark mustard camel, maybe? Is round seven. And we're going to go around, because we're doing a front post, not an actual stitch. We're going to go around the middle stitch from round seven. Now, on one section, it's going to be a single crochet. On the next section, it's going to be a half double crochet. And then on this one, it's going to be a double crochet. So I can't say to you, oh, it's going to be the single crochet because it just depends whereabouts you started your first stitch. So just go around the center stitch from round seven, okay, with a treble. So that means we're going to yarn over twice. And then we're going to go around that bar, that post, whichever stitch it is, from in the middle of round seven, okay? and we're going to do a treble. So I've inserted my hook, yarning over, pulling up a loop, yarn over, go through the first two, yarn over, go through the next two, yarn over, go through the last two. And that is your front post treble crochet. Then you're going to place a single crochet in the next three stitches. And 
and then we're going to do a front post treble crochet back around the middle stitch from round seven the middle one front post treble crochet And then we're going to put a single crochet in the next three stitches. And then a front post treble crochet around the middle stitch from round seven. And then a single crochet in the next three stitches. Front post treble crochet around the middle stitch from round seven. I'll do it one more time single crochet in the next three stitches and then a front post treble crochet around the middle stitch from round seven okay So keep going all the way around, single crochet in your three doubles, then when you get to the gap, you're going to do a front post treble crochet around the middle stitch from round seven, all the way around and I'll meet you back here when we get towards the end. Okay, so we're right near the end of round nine. I've actually just made a little bit of a mistake and finished the round and fastened off. But I missed out my final stitch, which is the treble, front post treble crochet right at the end. So I'm now playing yarn chicken. Woohoo! Although I do have more of this colour, but I really don't want to have to attach it. So let's see if I can do it. So we're on our last section. You should have three uh, single crochets left to put in your three doubles. Which I have just literally done. And recorded and then I joined it without even thinking your final stitch is going to be your front post treble crochet going around your middle stitch from round seven don't miss it out like me and fasten off and now I've got to try and do it with a small tail so don't laugh at my attempts here it's going to have to be a very tight treble for me so your final stitch is your front post treble crochet and we're going to make it. Let's all play yarn chicken with me right now. <laughs> oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. It's coming out. Oh, oh, come on. Just one more. One more. One more. Oh, oh, come on. In there. Oh. oh, look at that. Look at that. My goodness. And then you're going to join it to your first single crochet with a slip stitch. I'm going to have to like do mine like this and like hook it over I'm so silly but these things happen we're not perfect are we we do make mistakes I don't know how on earth I'm going to weave this end in lordy lord that's the tiniest end the world has ever seen and that's round nine I'll meet you back here for round ten Okay, for round 10, you're going to attach your yarn in any of the first single crochets. Now, what I mean by that is you've got your um, front post treble crochets. You're going to go in any of the first single crochets right after any front post treble crochet. So I'm just going to go in this one here. You're going to attach with a slip stitch. Still working on the right side. And then you're going to chain two and that's going to class as your first half double crochet. And then in the next stitch, 
we're going to put two half double crochets just in the next stitch next stitch one half double crochet And then we're going to do a front post double crochet around your front post treble crochet from round nine. So this one's just a double, front post double. Okay, so we're going to put one half double crochet in the first stitch, two half double crochets in the next stitch, one half double crochet in the next stitch and then a front post double crochet around the front post treble crochet from the previous round let's go again one half double crochet in the next stitch two half double crochets in the next stitch one half double crochet in your next stitch and a front post double crochet around the next stitch let's go again one half double crochet in the next stitch two half double crochets in the next stitch one half double crochet in the next stitch and a front post double crochet around the next stitch. I'll do it one more time. One half double crochet in the next stitch, two half double crochets in the next stitch, one half double crochet in the next stitch, and one front post double crochet around your next stitch. So nice and easy, you've got to remember one half double crochet, two half double crochets, one half double crochets, front post double crochet. Okay, so we're going to do that on each little section and I'll meet you back here when we get to the end of the round. Okay, so I'm now on my last little section. I've just done a front post double crochet and I've got my last section left. I'm also trying to weave over my tiny, tiny ends. Just excuse that wobbling about. I don't like to weave over ends. I like to weave them through rather than crocheting over them. But this one was so small, it left me with no other option. Right, last section, half double crochet in the stitch. Two half double crochets in the next stitch. one half double crochet in the next stitch and then your final stitch is going to be a front post double crochet around your last front post treble crochet from the previous round and then we're just going to join it to the top of the chain two from the beginning of the round with a slip stitch and then fasten off Now time for round 11. You're going to join your yarn with a slip stitch in any of the first half double crochets. So by that, I mean any half double crochet right after one of your front, um, front post double crochets. So you've got your front post doubles all sticking out here, looking lovely. Go in any of the first half double crochets from that point. Doesn't matter which one. Again, working on the right side. You're going to join it in the first half double crochet with a slip stitch. Chain two, which is going to class as a half double crochet. And then you're going to put a half double crochet in the next three stitches. And 
and then a front post double crochet around your front post double crochet from the previous round. And then from now on, you're going to be putting a half double crochet in the next four stitches. And then a front post double crochet around the front post double crochet from the previous round. So this one's nice and easy. Half double crochet in the next four stitches. And then a front post double crochet. Half double crochet in the next four stitches. And then a front post double crochet. I'll do it one more time because this round is nice and easy. Half double crochet in the next four stitches. And then a front post double crochet. So keep repeating that all the way around. Half double crochet in four stitches, front post double crochet. And I'll meet you back here when we get near the end of the round. Okay, so I'm at the last section of round 11. <clears throat> I've just done a front post double crochet. So I've got four stitches left and another front post double crochet here. So it's literally half double crochet in the next four stitches. And your final stitch is going to be a front post double crochet. And then we're going to join it to the top of the chain two with a slip stitch. And then fasten off again. Sorry everyone, but soon we'll get to a part where you won't have to fasten off. Says me. Maybe you might have to a little bit. I don't know. I can't remember. I'm pretty certain though. <laughs> what I just said was right. <laughs> right. See you back here for round 12. Right, we're now on round 12. We're going to start to slowly decrease uh, the hat. Don't worry if it sounds daunting because it's definitely not. OK, we're just going to basically be doing what we've been doing already with our little stitch patterns. It's going to be fine. OK, so we are going to attach our yarn with a slip stitch in between any second and third half double crochet. So if you look at the last stitch pattern that we've done, it was four half double crochets and then a front post double crochet. So what we're going to do is we're going to count one, two, and we're going to go in between two and three. We're not going to go in the top of the stitch like you normally do. We're going to go straight in between that gap in between the bars, the half double crochet bars, not through the top of the stitch. So we're going to join our yarn in here with a slip stitch in between the second and the third half double crochet. OK, so just put your hook straight through there like so. And then do a slip stitch. Then you're going to chain three, which is going to class as a double crochet. And you're going to put two more double crochets back into that same gap. There's one double crochet, two double crochets. And then you're going to skip the next stitch and that brings you to your front post DC from the next stitch. And you're going to put another front post double crochet around that stitch. Let's get some more yarn. 
then you are going to skip the next two stitches one two and you're going to come back into that gap again in between the second and third half double crochet just where we've joined in okay so you're going to go straight back into that gap in between the second and third half double crochet and you're going to place three half double crochets and you're going to come straight to your front post double crochet and put another front post double crochet around that and then keep repeating the same thing go straight in the gap between the second and the third half double crochet and put three double crochets then come straight to the front post double crochet from the previous round and put another front post double crochet around that and that is it so right in between the second and the third half double crochet put three double crochets did I say double then in between the second and third half double crochet I'm saying a mixture between half doubles and doubles and half the time I'm like did I say that right <gasps> I don't know I can't remember but you know hopefully you know what I mean obviously we've just done a load of half doubles if I get a little mi mixed up I do apologize <laughs> So we come straight back to your front post double crochet from the previous round and you're going to put another one around that front post double crochet and then again in the gap straight between the second and third half double crochet from the previous round you're going to put three double crochets and then straight to your front post double crochet put another front post double crochet around that one. I'll do it one more time so in between the second and third half double crochet you're going to put three double crochets and then a front post double crochet around the other front post double crochet from the previous round oh it's all such a mouthful isn't it so yeah just three doubles in between the second and third half double crochet from this little section and then a front post double crochet around your other front post double crochet and I'll meet you back here when we get near the end okay so I'm right near the end of round is it 12 yeah it is round 12 yep yeah, round 12 I've just done three double crochets in between my second and third half double crochets. I've got a front post to do around this one here. So I'm going to do that. And that is your last stitch. It's the front post double crochet. And then you're just going to join it to the top of your chain three with a slip stitch. And then fasten off. That's round 12. Okay, it's now time for round 13. We're going to really start to bring it in now. So what we're going to do is attach our yarn with a slip stitch in any second double crochet. So if you look at your last stitch pattern, it was three doubles front post DC three doubles front post DC so we want to concentrate on the three double crochets and you're going to attach it in the middle one in the second DC with a slip stitch and then chain three which is going to class as a double crochet you're then going to skip a stitch and come straight to your front post double crochet from the previous round and you're going to do another front post double crochet around that. You're then going to skip one stitch and go back into your second DC and you're going to put a double crochet in there. 
skip a stitch, front post DC. Skip a stitch, double crochet in the next one. Skip a stitch, front post double crochet. Skip a stitch, double crochet in the next one. Skip a stitch, front post double crochet. Nice and easy, yeah? Skip a stitch, double crochet in the next one. Skip a stitch, front post double crochet. I'll do it a couple more times. Skip a stitch, double crochet in the next one. Skip a stitch, front post double crochet. Skip a stitch, double crochet in the next one. Skip a stitch, front post double crochet. So keep repeating that all the way around and I'll meet you when we get near the end. Okay, so I've got my last little section here. I've just done a double crochet in my middle stitch and I've just got one front post double crochet left to do. And then you're going to join it to the top of the chain three from the previous round. Now it's got a bit stretched because we've been decreasing. So you're just going to have to like find, right, there's my front post from my second stitch that I made. And then counting back one chain from that, that's where we need to go in. Okay. So you've got your front post, count back one chain and just join it. Put your hook through there and join it with a slip stitch. You don't have to fasten off on this round. I'm going to be sticking with the same colour. You might notice that your hat has gone a bit like a little basket. The, the corners or well, the edges are now starting to draw in because we've been decreasing. So yeah, you don't have to fasten off. I mean, if you want to, you can. If you want to change colours, that's absolutely fine and just rejoin in the exact same place where we are. Or you can stick with the same colour. I'm going to stick. So should we just go straight in for the next round? Round 14. Okay, so what we're going to do is we're going to chain one. And we're going to place a single crochet oh, in the same stitch. And now we're going to do a front post half double crochet around the front post double crochet from the previous round. So we're not doing front post double crochet anymore. We're doing front post half double crochet. Just to be super confusing. Yes. <laughs> Sorry everyone. But we'll get used to it. It'll be fine. So just yarn over, go around this double post crochet blah, 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 from the previous round you know what I'm saying and we're just going to do a half double crochet a front post half double crochet and then a single crochet in the next stitch and then a front post half double crochet around the next stitch oop, oop. and then a single crochet in the next stitch Front post, half double crochet around the next stitch. And just keep repeating that. A single crochet in the next stitch. Front post, half double crochet around the next stitch. Single crochet around the next stitch. Front post, half double crochet around the next stitch. Single crochet. Front post, half double crochet. Single crochet in the stitch. Front post, half double crochet around the stitch. Just repeating, single crochet, front post, half double crochet. Nice and easy. Okay, so I'll meet you back here when we get near the end of the round. Okay, so I'm at the end of round 14. I've got one stitch left to make and it's a front post half double crochet. 
So I'm just going to make that. And then you're going to join it to your first single crochet uh, at the beginning of the round. So join it with a slip stitch. For this round, you do have to fasten off Sorry about that again. I've already fastened off. But yeah, you do have to fasten off for this round because we're going to rejoin our yarn for round 15 in a different stitch to what we've just ended on. Also, sometimes when I do round 14, my hat naturally turns itself the right way out. It hasn't done it this time, but usually it does. So we're just going to turn our hats and make sure that they're now right side facing outwards. And you can start to see it forming shape as well. At that quite exciting so now ready for round 15 I'm just gonna crack straight on I think let me just get my yarn my new color I'm changing color because I just like to use all the colors I don't know why I just do it's a great little stash buster this one is Okay, so what we're going to do is we're going to join our yarn with a slip stitch we're going to attach it in the top of any of the front post half double crochets from the previous round. So we're not going to go around it, we're going to join it in the top stitch of any of those front post half double crochets. Don't matter which one, I'm just going to go in this one and we're going to do a slip stitch to attach my yarn. And then you're going to chain one and do a front post half double crochet around the front post half double crochet from your previous round. So front post, sometimes it's a little tricky to weave in that one because it's a bit smaller than the uh, front post double crochet. So that's a front post half double. And then your next stitch, you're gonna do a half double crochet in the top of your half double crochet stitch from the previous round. We're basically doing the same thing. So every front post half double crochet, you're going to do another front post half double crochet around that. And then a half double crochet in the top of the half double crochet from the previous round. I feel like I'm saying it more complicated than what it really needs to be. <laughs> so let's go again. Front post half double crochet. And then a regular half double crochet in the top of the stitch. Front post half double crochet. And then a regular half double crochet in the top of the stitch. Front post half double crochet. Let's get some more yarn. And then a regular half double crochet in the top of the stitch. And just keep repeating that all the way around. Front post, half double crochet, half double crochet. Front post, half double crochet, half double crochet. Front post, half double crochet, half double crochet. Okay, all the way around. We're just copying the same stitches in the same place as what we did on the previous round. And we're going to be doing exactly the same for round 16. It's going to be the same. Uh, it's going to be the same round, pretty much. So yeah, half double crochet, front post half double crochet. Half double crochet, front post half double crochet. So keep doing that all the way around and I'll meet you back here when you get near the end. Okay, so I am right at the end of the round. I've just got one final half double crochet to place. And then you're going to join the round together, going through the top of your front post half double crochet from the beginning of the round. Now you can fasten off if you want, but you don't have to. I am gonna stick with the same color. So this is round 16. It's basically, well, it is exactly the same as round 15. Yeah, we're going to be doing the same thing. So chain one 
and go straight down and do a front post half double crochet. And then a half double crochet in the next stitch. Again, front post half double crochet, half double crochet in the next stitch. Oh, I'm getting a little bit hooked up there. Front post half double crochet, half double crochet in the next stitch. So you, you know, obviously by now, hopefully by looking at the pattern, every time you come across a front post stitch, you are going to be putting another front post stitch around it. So where am I now? Half, I'll keep getting it wrong, look. Front, there, there, front post, half double crochet. And just a regular crochet in the top of the stitch. Front post, half double crochet. And then a regular half double crochet. So just keep repeating that. Front post, normal. Front post, normal. All half double crochets. All the way around. Exactly the same as what you've just done. And I'll meet you back here when you get near the end of the round. Okay, so I'm right near the end of round 16. What have I got left to do? One half double crochet I've got left to do. So I'm going to do that. And then we're going to slip stitch to the first front post half double crochet to join it. Now I am going to fasten off because I would like to change colour. If you want to stick with the same colour, you do not need to fasten off on this round. Okay, and I'll join you back here for round 17 once I've got my new yarn. Right, for round 17 and from here on out, we are going to be doing full on ribbing. At the moment we've just been doing front post half double crochet and then a regular half double crochet. We're now going to be doing front post half double crochet and then back post half double crochet and just repeating those two stitches for the next few rounds. So I'm just going to attach my yarn where I left off which is in the top of the a, well, a front post half double crochet. I'm just going to attach with a slip stitch. So all we're going to do is chain one Go straight down around the front post half double crochet and then around the next stitch rather than going in the top and doing a half double we're going to do a back post double crochet. So we're going to come in through the back and go around the stitch and come out through the back and make our half double crochet. Front post half double crochet back post half double crochet so we're coming in around it's kind of like coming in for the back around the front out the back in out in out oh losing my yarn again front post half double crochet back post half double crochet front post half double crochet Back post, back post, I'm pretty certain I just said back post, front post, half double crochet, back post, half double crochet, all the way around. Oh, if I can get it through. Front post and back post. Just keep repeating those two stitches. Front post half double crochet, back post half double crochet. Front post half double crochet, back post half double crochet. This is going to start to give it a bit more stretch. Can you see that? How stretchy it is. So just keep repeating front post half double crochet, back post half double crochet all the way around. And I'll meet you back here when we get near the end of the round. Okay, so I'm right at the end of my round. All I've got to do is join it to the first front post half double crochet. Ah, like so, lovely. 
and then that's it okay so basically you're going to be doing this same round until you are happy with the length of yours now on my last hat I think I got to about round 20 and then I stopped that was just round 17 that we've just done so 18 19 I think I had a three more rounds of ribbing and then I stopped but the key is just to try it on and see how it fits your head and yeah and then after that we'll put the brim on which is optional you don't have to have the brim but I'll do a little bit more with you just so you uh, get the gist but I think you probably already do don't you so for round 18 exactly the same it's going to chain one and you're going to do a front post half double crochet straight down around the previous front post half double crochet and then we're going to do a back post half double crochet and then a front post half double crochet and then back post half double crochet front post half double crochet back post front post back post front post all the way around and you're going to keep doing that for the next three rounds and then try your hat on and see if you are happy with how it sits on your head uh, if you want to add more then add more rounds if you think you've got too many take one away it's just whatever fits your head better okay and I'll meet you back here when you have finished the main hat and then if you want to add the brim you can for the brim you're going to need two strands of yarn of the same yarn you've been using Aran weight worsted weight you're going to need two strands of it okay so I'll see you back here when your hat is done pretty much minus the brim okay so I have made my main hat and I've gone to round 20 if you have more or less that's fine it all depends what fits your head the best doesn't it so you can either weave in all your ends and be done here and just have it like this or you can add the peak brim as I like to call it I don't know why I keep calling it that but that's what it's called for this pattern the peaked brim so if you're going to add the peaked brim you are going to need two strands of yarn doubled up the same thickness of what you've already been using and you're still going to use the same hook that you've been using throughout now we double up with the yarn just to make the yarn when you've put it on a bit thicker and then you can form the peak however you wish so what we're going to do is we're now going to need to use two stitch markers so get your stitch markers ready now what I do is you have your right side of your hat facing outwards and I find where I last fastened off now I'm going to put that at the center back and I'm going to flatten these two out like this and just try and get that in the center back now what I'm going to do well you need to count 24 stitches across this front part so you can either just dive straight in and guess and count 24 but what I tend to do is I find the stitch that is like center to where I fastened off at the back so it's this one and I'm going to count across 12 stitches one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve and I'm going to put my stitch marker in that 12th stitch and now from here I'm going to count across 24 stitches Twenty-four, and that is where my peaked brim is going to start. Okay, right. Let's do round one of the brim. So we're going to turn our hat around, attach our yarn doubled up to our hook. with a slip knot
Okay, so for this row, we are literally, we are going to be working in the front loop only. Not both of them. Normally you go through both stitches. But this time, we're just going to go through the very front loop only. Okay? So, just make sure, hang on, yeah, I've put my stitch marker through a stitch. Of course I have! Let me just get that bit better, because it's not going to work if my stitch marker is through literally through the centre of a stitch. That's not going to happen, is it? Through the yarn. Okay, so going through the front loop only, not both, but the front one, we're going to attach the yarn with a slip stitch. Now we're going to move straight to the next stitch and we're going to put a single crochet in the front loop only of the next 22 stitches. Basically, we're going to put a single crochet, front loops only, and we're going to stop at the stitch before the stitch marker. And that's 22. 22 single crochets. Remember, front loop only. Oh, hang on a minute. Single crochet in the front loop only of the next 22 stitches. Oh, I nearly went through both then. Just get a bit more yarn. I'll say that. That one's gone and disappeared again. So yeah, single crochet in the front loops only. And you're going to stop in the stitch right before the stitch marker. Oh, missed that one. Nearly there. I'm almost there. I've got one left to go. Okay, I'm going to remove the stitch marker because I don't need it no more. And then in the very last stitch, in the front loop only, I'm going to place a slip stitch. And that is row one. Okay, so row two, from here on out, we're going to be working through both loops as normal. No more front loops, that was just for that little section on row one. So what we're going to do is we're going to come to this next stitch and the stitch after and we're going to place a slip stitch in the next two stitches through both loops. Try not to do them too tight because they can be hard to go into if you do them very tight. So that's a slip stitch in the next two stitches. We are now going to turn our work so that we're now working on the wrong side. Now we're going to skip and ignore this last stitch that we've done. And we're going to go into the next stitch and we're going to do uh, 24 single crochets. So ignore this one here that you've just done. I mean, it's a bit tricky anyway because you've got this bit of yarn in the way. Go straight to the next one, which is a slip stitch. It is the next slip stitch that you made. Hopefully I didn't do it too tight, like I said, because it can be a little wiggle to get in there. And we're going to do 24 single crochets. If I can get in there. There we go, I'm in. 24 single crochets, okay?
Hang on. Okay, so I've just done 24. I'm going to remove my stitch marker because I don't need that in there no more. Now what we're going to do is we're going to put two slip stitches back on to the hat. So you can see where we've gone through the front loop only on this stitch here from row one. We're going to pick up the back loop as well and we're going to go in there and do a slip stitch. So through both loops, just move my end out of the way and you're going to place a slip stitch. Remember not to do it too tight because it can be hard to go into for the next row. And then another slip stitch. And that is row two. Okay, row three, we're going to be doing exactly the same as what we've just done, but with a few more single crochets in between. So, we are still working right side facing us. We're going to put a slip stitch in the next two stitches, but remember to not do them too tight, otherwise they can be hard to work into. So that's one slip stitch, two slip stitch. And then we're going to turn our work. So we're now working on the right side. Sorry, my phone is off. Let me just turn that off a minute. Okay. And then we're going to place a single crochet in the next 27 stitches. So going in the next stitch, remember, sorry, I don't know if I'd explained that. We've turned our work. We're not going in this first stitch that we made. We're going in the next slip stitch and we're going to place 27 single crochets. So I'll meet you when I get across because you don't want to see me doing 27 single crochets. I'll meet you when we get up this end. So I've done 27 and I'm right at the end. There's nowhere else for me to go. So now we're going to come back on to the bottom of the hat again. And we're going to go in the same stitch as the slip stitch from row two. And we're going to place a slip stitch in that same stitch. A loose one, remember not too tight. And then we're going to put another slip stitch in the next stitch. And that is row, is it two or three? It's row three. I don't even know what, what's going on anymore. That was row three. Okay, so row four, exactly the same, but we'll be adding more single crochets as, as we go across. So two, well, I say two, put a slip stitch in the next two stitches. Remember, nice and loose. One, two, turn your work around. Ignore the, first, the last slip stitch that you've just done and go into the very next one with a single crochet and we're going to be placing 30 single crochets across the brim. So I'm just going to pause it and I'll get back to you when we get over here again to the other end. Remember that's 30 single crochets. So I've just done 30 single crochets and I'm right at the end again with nowhere to go. So we are going to come back to the hat 
and we're going to be placing a slip stitch in the same stitch as the slip stitch from the previous row. Okay, remember nice and loose, one slip stitch in there and one more slip stitch in the next stitch. After this, we have one more row and it's done. Right, final row everybody, row five. This time, we're just gonna do one slip stitch in the next stitch. Turn our work. Ignore the last slip stitch that we just created. Go into the next one and we're just going to do single crochets all the way across until we get to the end and we can't place any more. I do believe it's 31 single crochets that we're going to be doing. So just keep putting all your single crochets until you get right to this very edge again. And I'll meet you back here in a second. So I'm right at the end again. And what we're going to do is the same thing that we have been doing is placing a slip stitch in this stitch on the hat that has a slip stitch from the previous row in it. And that's going to be your final stitch. One slip stitch in there. And then you can fasten off. And that's it. Weave in any ends. Hopefully you've been weaving as you go. That's always a very good trick. Not trick, tip. So when you come over to this side, you've got an end here. You have got a little bit, if you've changed colour, you might have a little bit just peeping through here. Use these ends to weave them over the top and you won't even notice it. Obviously you can see me pulling my, that across there. But just use your tapestry needle and just weave your ends over, in, over, in. And that will cover that little bit and you won't even notice it. And then when you put your hat on, you can then bend this bit to however you like it. I normally like to put a little triangle peak in the middle of it. But however you wish to style it. And that's it. You've now got your free spirit peak cap. So thank you all for joining me on this tutorial. I look forward to seeing you again for my next one. Bye.